Welcome to Educator Preparation at Wayne State College. My name is Dr. Legler and I am the Department Chair of the Educational Foundations and Leadership Department. We are excited that you are interested in becoming an educator. This 10-minute introductory video will provide you with an overview of endorsement choices and academic support for education students at Wayne State College and the process for acceptance to an advancement in educator preparation. As you watch this video, you may want to jot down your questions and make notes for yourself to ask your advisor later. You can revisit this tutorial at any time by accessing it on the School of Education and Counseling website or by going into My ePortfolio and accessing it through your Benchmarks portfolio. The first section of this video provides information related to the endorsement choices and academic support for education students at Wayne State. If you would like more information about any individual classes we offer, you can find course descriptions in the General and Graduate Catalog available online at the Wayne State website. Your degree in education will lead to becoming a certified teacher. Wayne State College is a nationally accredited school. So while you will initially apply for a teaching certificate from Nebraska, Reciprocity allows you to apply for certification from other states as well. The following list of programs are available to you. You have chosen or will choose either one field endorsement or two subject endorsements. Coaching, informational technology, and English as a second language are examples of supplemental endorsements that can be added to your basic program. Sometimes having an extra endorsement can help you stand out in the job interview process. Talk with your advisor to learn more about what school districts are looking for in the way of endorsements. The program of study for a bachelor's degree includes coursework from three main areas general education courses designed to foster intellectual inquiry, personal and professional development, and responsible citizenship. You have most likely already begun taking these courses, but be sure to consult your advisor to determine which general education courses may be required for your specific endorsement. Professional education courses, also known as pedagogy courses, designed to develop an educational philosophy, understanding of children and adolescents, methods and technique to guide learning, and an attitude toward the ethics of the teaching profession. All education endorsement programs require three core professional education courses. Number one, EDU 150, Introduction to Professional Education, which is a required prerequisite to all other education courses. Number two, EDU 250, Human Development and Cognition. And number three, EDU 275, PK through 12 instructional design. You must earn a grade of C or above in each of these classes. Content area courses designed to develop the subject area knowledge you will need in order to teach in your chosen endorsement area someday. Example, if you plan to teach high school science, you will take 52 hours of coursework that covers content in biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. In regards to support available to you, you can, of course, take advantage of any of the services provided by Wayne State. Just go to My WSC and click on Current Students for a list of available campus services. In addition to those general services, you will be assigned your own academic advisor from your particular endorsement area. Your advisor is a member of the faculty who will be able to tell you when your required classes are offered, whether the class is online or face-to-face, -face, 
what content is covered in the class, etc. You can find the name of your advisor in Wildcats Online by clicking on Academic Records, then My Advisor. Are you interested in meeting other students with an interest in education? Friends with shared interests can provide a lot of support emotionally and academically. We highly recommend joining the Wayne Student Education Association of Nebraska, known as Wesleyan. You can visit the club's web pages to find out more about all of the membership benefits. From the home page of Wayne State College, select Campus Life and scroll down to Getting Involved. Look through the list of clubs for other groups that might interest you too. Academic coaching is another example of academic support. There are academic coaches available in the Holland Academic Success Center in Kahn Library. Don't hesitate to seek assistance with preparing written assignments or working through math problems. There is help available for all subject areas. The Holland Center staff can also help you prepare for tests, especially the Core Academic Skills for Educators test that is a requirement for acceptance into educator preparation. I will talk more about that test and other required benchmarks in the next section. This completes the section on endorsement choices and available support systems at Wayne State College. The second section of this video provides information related to the process of acceptance to and advancement in educator preparation at Wayne State College. All education students are required to purchase a subscription to a software package known as Chalk and Wire, My ePortfolio. Subscriptions are purchased through the WSC Campus Bookstore. Think of My ePortfolio as an electronic file cabinet where you can store documents, video clips, and folders. Once you have your subscription set up, you will be able to build your own files, also known as portfolios. An example of a portfolio would be a personal credential file that might include photos, samples of lessons you have written, video clips of you teaching, an autobiography, and letters of reference, all materials you might want to send to a school district when you apply for a teaching position. In addition to portfolios you build yourself, there are two portfolios that Wayne State has built for you, the Benchmarks Portfolio and the Educator Growth Portfolio. The Benchmarks Portfolio will be your guide for completing all of the requirements for advancement in educator preparation. The Educator Growth Portfolio is where you will submit and store essential class assignments for review prior to being recommended for a teaching certificate. Instructions for how to set up these two portfolios will be provided to you by your education class instructor. As mentioned earlier, our educator preparation program is based on a system of benchmarks that must be met in order to advance to the next level. You may have already received a paper copy of the benchmark chart to get you started. The paper copy can be a handy reference tool, but the benchmarks are also found in electronic format in the benchmarks portfolio. The really good thing about the electronic version is that it includes an explanation of each benchmark. Some benchmarks require action on your part, others are simply informational. I would strongly encourage you to spend about 15 minutes reading through each entry in the benchmark portfolio table of contents so that you will know what is expected of you. Familiarizing yourself with all of the benchmarks now will help you get organized and stay on track as you move through your preparation to become a teacher. The benchmarks are divided into four blocks, initial prerequisites, level 1 benchmarks, level 2 benchmarks, and level 3 benchmarks. You are completing one of the prerequisites right now, which is to watch this introductory video. Once you are done viewing, you will complete the video signature page and submit it as documentation that you understand the process for entry and advancement in educator preparation. You can begin working on Level 1 benchmarks even if you have not yet completed all of the initial prerequisites. At Level 1, you are considered to be a student interested in education. 
you will take nine hours of Education Foundations courses and complete coursework in speech and composition, all while maintaining at least a 2.5 grade point average. You will also complete the core academic skills for educators test of your basic knowledge in math, reading, and writing. When you have completed all Level 1 benchmarks, you will be ready to advance to Level 2, where you officially become a teacher candidate, making you eligible to take upper-level education and special education classes. Once you have completed all of your general education, professional education, and content area courses, you'll be ready for Level 3, which is your clinical practice semester. Successful completion of all benchmarks and requirements will result in recommendation for teacher licensure. You will be certified to teach. This completes the explanation of the benchmarks related to acceptance and advancement in educator preparation. You are now ready to complete the signature page in your benchmarks portfolio. Please remember you can revisit this video at any time during your program. Please don't hesitate to contact your advisor, education instructors, or field experience office personnel if you have further questions. We are here to help you reach your goal.